welcome back to an episode of We Are In Front Of A Cave. The cave slightly south of... I'm actually looking in the wrong direction. There we go. But anyway, um, the cave very far in the south of the Nameless Isle. And you can find it somewhere over here, uh, right next to the Souls Desert Temple. Let's enter this and see where it leads us. It's an ancient cave. This is not quite the safest place I've ever been. Hmm... We'd better find a way inside before it all goes up in smoke. And us with it. Uh, a way inside what now? Uh, are we even going? An ancient inscription. Ooh. There could even be something hidden uh, around here somewhere. Who knows? So that one is empty. That skeleton is also pretty much empty. Great. And oh, a dragon mouth points directly down here. So, and there is the spirit of the murdered god woken. Wait, what's he doing there? And of course, as soon as you go there, huh, you can you just land in a little bit of fire. That is just so mean. Oh, what do we have here? Flay skin skill, yeah. Like, you really don't need to buy those skill books. But it's just so much more convenient if you do. So, what have I got here? Thithery and crit chance, and a decent mix of attributes. It's just that we don't really need it. So, let's move that somewhere else and have a little talk to this god woken. The spirit before you drips source from his raggedly slit throat. Realizing that you can see him, he throws a wry smile in your direction. Ah, God Woken. You know how you relive bad exams in your nightmares? Good news, you get to relive them in death, too. Hmm. Tell him you've never had an exam and as badly as his seems to have. He rolls his neck, sores gurgling and spouting from the deep gash. He laughs, and his laugh is a bitter one. As I was facing the trials, I was killed by another God Woken hopeful. He's long gone now, but I'm still here. I just can't stop thinking about it. That one answer. The one I couldn't get in time. Anon Fallon Reveal. Anon Fallon Reveal. What in the void comes next? Hmm. You remember Tarkin muttering this very phrase. What was next? Um, Amadio Lucio. Dean Medrita Dumores. His face lights up, gratitude shining forth from it. That's it! That's it! He begins to fade from view, but as he disintegrates, he traces an esoteric sigil in the air between you and pushes forceful energy into you, restoring you. Right. Basically, source, but interesting. We got ourselves a few of those fellas saved. That's nice. Absolutely nice. So, now. Ah, that. As you step. Ah. Look at this. He made that fire. Yeah, and he cannot move because he just encircled himself in his own bloody fire. <laughs> and because he does that, there's no way out for it. Okay, so that's the ancient inscription, which we are probably not able to read, but someone else. Countless symbols cover the stone tablet's surface, forging a riddle between several languages. You make out one ruined line. The champion must offer a burning stone to the dragon's mouth. Hmm. Recall there was something in Bacchus Rex's journal about this. Hmm. Mystic, focus on the magic to determine its essence. Fire. Everything is fire. If you can confine such magic to a rune, you can feed the burning urge inside the dragon's skull. Hmm. Between the symbols is a remarkably simple answer. A burning stone, a rune of fire, must be offered to the dragon. Okay. What if we don't? Dragon has nothing in it. Okay, so we have to put the rune into the uh, into this thing here. Let's just save before we do that. 
thank goodness we can craft these things. Uh, I may have... Is this a fire? No, it's a small physical one. Where's the fire? There. A small flame rune. You place the offering deep inside the dragon's mouth. Something in the dark seizes your wrist. The grip tightens to sheer agony. Cold metal presses against you to soothe the ache. When you reach for it, your fingers catch on a pair of greaves. Hmm. As you pull the armor free, the bitterness of betrayal cuts through you. Ash clouds the room, hot as a forge. You stand high on a black cliff housing Zol Stissa's temple. Other lizards scream, declaring you a blasphemer. I see you. And inside you is the strength I've been looking for. Hmm. Ask who the voice belongs to. Patience. You must prove yourself worthy of such answers. You must find the temple where the Devara's loyal servant was abandoned. I will draw strength from there to speak again. The vision fades. The cave sharp chill returns, and with it, a cold aura takes shape behind you. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Uh, something, something grieves. There we go. Devara's eminence. Uh, okay, what a man. How many Devara items do I have so far? Um, because uh, my inventory is getting littered with stuff. <laughs> okay, let's move those eternal artifacts a little bit further down. Because they have nothing to do with the set pieces that I've gathered there. Maybe I should move them to a completely different bag entirely. So, let's take that thing. Move it up here. The eternal plate also goes down there. It's another eternal artifact. Wait a minute. That's an artifact, eternal artifact. That one goes up here. And this is also an eternal artifact. Alright, let's move this one over here like so. And those face capacitor may be useful for something else too. Another eternal artifact, so three of those. Hmm. Okay, now we're going to move this up here. And the cloth may be down there. This one up here. This is another eternal artifact. Eternal artifact. There we go. Nice. Now everything has its place. <laughs> right. Oh. Forgot about that one. <laughs> Devara steps. I got three actually. Um, what about that one? Constitution warfare set death leech. What's death leech? Unlocks picture of health. But I already have picture of health, which means I can actually switch it. That would be a good idea indeed. Hmm. Interesting. 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 But I'm not going to use it, because right now it's not at the required power level that I, de that I do seem fit. Right. Now, where's the other polymorph stuff? That is flail. Uh, it's battle legs. Alright. There. Too much. Now let's talk to this lizard that just appeared. The spirit of the fanatic. Stares at you with open delight. His torn garb resembles that of a priest. Wait a minute. Also, the archaeologist uh, and the chronicler are now here. So it looks as if every time you get the Devara armor, you get another ghost next to you. Very interesting. I welcome you, honored one. Be at peace, for your day has come. Hmm. Do not hesitate. The ritual is prepared for you at the proper place. My master awaits. Okay, a proper place. That's what ritual he means. Why are you going to this place? It is where the world changed. The devourer opened our eyes. You must see this truth for yourself. Join the master at the temple of the false goddess, Zolstissa. We cannot leave him waiting. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what do these fellows have to say? At ease. Need some chatter to pass the time, friend? Uh, no. The lizard grin quickly, honored one. Above the river of lava, a temple awaits your indulgence. Hmm. Say you'd like to know who his master is. Yes. The master of us all. 
We serve the Devourer in his infinite grace and hunger. Join the Master at the Temple of the False Goddess, Zolstissa. We cannot leave him. Waiting, yes. The spirit keeps glancing back. But how can I help? Interesting. So... Interesting, interesting, interesting. And we just have to get out of the cave. And then we can go back to the top of the Solstice Temple. So maybe Solstice was not its actual name. Maybe it uses a different disguise or whatever. Who knows? Something shady is going on here. The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. Hmm. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. An emblem of the sun glows faintly on the altar. Nothing happened. Um, or maybe they mean a different source. To, wait. Maybe they mean a different source. This uh, temple. After the death of the souls of Zion, join an ever growing network of ancestor trees. Thus is ever power preserved. Uh, hunger from beyond. The fanatic spirit asks us to take him to his place of love. Ah, wait. The spirit wants to be up here. That means I have to summon it again. And in order to do that, I have to activate spirit vision. There we go. Now I may be able to talk to it. The lizard grins wide, unable to contain his excitement. Quickly, honored one. Above the river of lava, a temple awaits your indulgence. It is where the world changed. Join the mark. Yeah. The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. The altar before... I have absolutely no idea what they want to do right now. It's just so strange. So we have a cave entrance. Now they said something about a temple of river of lava, souls dissar. What about this one? Place of lock. Or maybe that's that. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's not on the map. You found the first legates and experience a sharp longing to see a temple high on a cliff. Ah, wait. So this is a temple high on a cliff, or maybe there is a different temple somewhere else. So this is the Shadow Prince, and this is all Stissa stuff. And then there is uh, a different kind of temple right up here. So this might be where we need to go. Okay, so how do we get there? We have to go across the lava lake, it seems. Um, like we could... I think we have to teleport downwards for this, yeah. Let's keep that in one episode as well. The whole Devara thing is uh, very difficult to comprehend, almost. So, uh, let's teleport forward. One jump at a time. So, we got that thing. Uh, and from here, where can we go? Um, up is not an option. Sideways could be. I just need to get the jump right again. Actually, we have two fellows with jump abilities. So, why don't we just use those? There we go. It really is a proof that... Whatever... Class you choose... You should choose one that's warfare. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so weird. Wait, and everything in here is a flame. Uh, weird, weird, weird indeed. Okay, wait. So you can go down. But can you go up as well? As a lizard skeleton. Maybe the lizard skeleton is not supposed to be here. Strange. Let's try to teleport up there. There we go. Uh, there is a lot of fire here. Oh, look at that. Sweet. So, that one goes to Fane. And, thank goodness, it gets moved directly into the backpack. At least, that much is simple to be... Wait, you can... If all of the items, right, that can be stacked, go into a backpack, or are automatically placed where they can be stacked, therefore in a backpack, or next to the item where they are stacked, also in a backpack. You can make your own backpacks um, and place them in there. And then there's just another thing that you can try to do at least. 
It's, uh... Yeah, just, uh... Having custom packs in, in here. It's the, the, the different mod that you can just put in this game. Uh... No, I don't think those legats are good. Well, they are better, yes, but they are not that much better. Uh, they just slightly different. I like... Yeah, I... Uh, I like just having more resistance. Uh, it's just much nicer. So much nicer. Right. Now, question. Can he go through that fire? Yes, no, maybe. He would be. So, let's just try another jump up here. Ah, look at that. And there is a trumpet of death. Uh, let's jump to the Red Prince and pick up this thing. Yeah, you really have to go around the fire in order to make all of that work. Uh, another way forward is, of course, always there. You have to use the Phoenix stuff. No, you don't. Uh, wait. Can you... There's no climb for this, is there? No. You cannot climb up there. You cannot do that. I don't know how you would normally get up there. If not through these kind of means. Okay, so you could also climb up here, but how would you proceed from there on out? You really do need teleportation or something similar. <gasps> oh! I've seen some some strange kind of uh, ghosts before like this. Memories again. Interesting. Memories of what, though? Let's just read that. Uh, remember when I was a kid, we made water balloons from intestines. Maybe this is a way to go forwards into this area. Where you need, like, shielding and so on. Ah, uh, against the fire. So, now. Let's interact with that. The ancient temple of Zol Stissa crowns the cliff. Loathsome place. A fragment of memory. Followers of the false goddess betrayed you here. You preached the devourer's blessings. He would bring them to greatness. Searing pain. A stone hits your shoulder. A sharp crack. Another glances off your skull. Your world turns red. Ah, the fanatical soul. Hunted by Zolstis's followers, he fled back to the outlaw empress with the devourer's words on his lips. Hmm. Accuse the voice of being the devourer himself. Huh. Keep on listening. Ask what the Empress did to the fanatic. Hmm. Wonder about the devourer's grudge against Solstice. Ah, intelligence persuasion. You know what game is being played. Resist the vision. Do we? Uh, hmm. Actually, I'd, no. Why, why, why should we want to do that? But we could, we could try that, though. Hey, it works. Clouds of ash batter you, and flames lap at your feet, but you stand strong. It's all a trick of the mind. What point is there in resisting the truth? When I speak, eternity answers. The Devourer's legacy is your fate. Turn away, and I will crumble you to ash. Now go to the greatest mortal city. The last two pieces of the armor rest there. One hides in an enclave of the lizards. The other is locked away by a man named Kem. Do not disappoint me. The vision fades, but your sense of unease does not. Something watches you, cold as death. Yeah. Very interesting that uh, there's an awful lot that you can find in Kemp's place. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, get those bone piles searched. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Greed does it again. An ancient artifact. Another one. <sighs> right. So, yeah, it's a wait. It's this ancient artifact. It's hard to say whatever this magical magnet is. Uh, you can probably put this thing to good use. It's not an eternal artifact, it's an ancient one. That's not working. So, let's move this to... Wait a minute. 
This is Eternal Artifact. Eternal Artifact. Eternal Artifact as well. And then you have something different. The uh, Ancient Artifact. This one here. Let's move that in there. I don't know. Is that special? I have no clue. A lizard spirit bows deep before you. His torn garb resembles that of a priest. May the devourer bless your endeavors, champion of the dragon. Hmm. Show your confusion. You must be mistaken. I uh, wonder what's expected of a dragon's champion. Hmm. A champion is true power unshackled. I am here to serve said power as I serve the first champion, the outlaw empress. Her legacy was recovering the devourer's sacred bones. Yours will be conquering the world, clad in his armor. The spirits bound to each piece shall shepherd your ascension. Restore it by devouring our souls, and you will be unmatched. Don't listen to that snake mouth. We're not shepherds. We're trapped. Only the weak fear such a glorious destiny. The champion surpasses all weakness, for they are blessed by the dragon. Hmm, mention you've heard his spirit can be freed, yes. Release? What purpose would that serve? We are bound to this armor in the Devourer's name. As you eat our souls one by one, the dragon's magnificence will be unleashed. We will be unified in flesh and steel. Do you actually get a bit more powerful if you do that? Because that would be interesting. Ask the spirit how he came to be in the armor. For years I was foolish. I served Zol Stissa, but she was a silent deceiver. Until I met the outlaw empress, I was lost. The empress saw I was truly faithful, but preaching a false prophet. She led me to the devourer, to the endless voice of the dragon. The Devourer is true divinity. He always listens, always guides. And I was his chosen preacher, a voice to the masses. The Devourer doomed us, and the Empress reveled in cruelty. Harsh task, mistress, if there ever was one. I should never have taken her gold. Silence! <laughs> the outlaw Empress was the Devourer's first chosen. And you shall not defile her memory. Yet the enemies of the Devourer are many. When I spoke the truth, we were forced into hiding, awaiting his rebirth. Hmm, okay. So you want the true power of the armor? The fanatic must be devoured. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, do we do that now? I want to see what happens if we choose that, but I'm going to reload. Yes, I know that hunger in your eyes. Don't hesitate, champion. This was meant to be. Uh. Good riddance. Thought that one would never shut up. My destiny is finally fulfilled. Feast upon every soul that touched this armor, and the devourer's strength will suffuse you. Uh-oh. You can see the spirit of the fanatic. When a uh, spirit preached the virtues of the Vrao, he claimed we have to consume every spirit bound to him. Outside the ruins of Solstice Temple, we learned the cult of the da 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 hmm. The dwarf smiles, at ease despite his imprisonment. Need some chatter to pass the time, friend? Okay, we're going to reload. We're not going to do that. It immediately triggers it once you exit the conversation. You cannot cancel that. And uh, it's not something that's like a two-step process. Like, uh, so you want the true power? Pa, 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 pa. No, we're not going to do anything. So, we're going to leave him in that armor for now. And we're going to free him out of the fact. One point or another. So, cursed necrofire. Oh, boy. How am I going to get out of here? And... You look at that. There's more. Wait a minute. Uh, while I'm at it, uh, let's just mark this with a one so that we can uh, explore all of the little nooks and crannies of this fiery place of death. Right. Now, I may be able to just jump across it. 
Perfect. And, uh, yep, I can just go up there. Get through the fire. You can hold it. You can hold it. He is extremely quick. So, we got ourselves some bonesies. Sweet. Empty pecan. Yes, why not? Pickaxe. Now we've already got one. Oh, medium flame rune. Isn't that convenient? Oh, ho, ho. Ah. It doesn't scale with anything. Ah, come on. Right. There doesn't seem to be anything uh, in the ground here that can be dug out. So, and from here we have to go to that place, and then we could try to jump across also. Uh, oh, 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 Wait, is that one climbable? It is. How do we get there? From that place, from here, from there, from over here. Okay, so I have to go south from the entrance of this ruin. But this one right there... Looks like Black Ring territory. What do we have here? Look at that. Dwarves. Awful lot of dwarves. Wait. That one has been explored. And let's get the rest of the team down here. Six goes down there. All right, and we are in front of a strange temple again. The same with a lot of dwarves around. Empty dwarves, blunt shovels, pickaxes to boot, and a cup. More cups. So the cups aren't special. They're not like eternal artifacts. It would be kind of funny, like, you just need an eternal artifact in order to craft extremely powerful equipment. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what eternal artifact it is. Just that it was made by the Eternals. It could be a, an eternal toothpick or something. <laughs> or in this case, an eternal mug. Ah, just great. What do we have here? Ah, uh, that's probably something to dig out of the ground. It's a very suspicious pile of dirt you can see all the time. Wait. What is this? There's a hole. Hole to tunnel below. Okay. Uh, tunnel. That's a weird one. Very, 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 very weird one. Huh. Interesting. But the thing is, I do want to explore the rest of this as well. Hmm. But it seems as if... Uh, we have to figure out what this is at another episode. Until then, like and subscribe and... Ta-ta!